University Life Badge Attempts by Carolyn and her friends Welcome, Carrots here. Carolyn and her friends Wilma and Katie have already been to university. They had two weeks there and they have all got very close to completing their degrees. While they were there, three of the University Life Badges were achieved. Planning presentation is a silver badge and it was achieved for planning a presentation 10 times with the business planner. Now I'm not sure who got that badge, it was either Carolyn or Katie because they're both doing the business degree and they were both planning lots of presentations with their business planners. The other two badges that were achieved were achieved mysteriously. They required a socially awkward sim. None of my sims had the socially awkward trait and I eventually worked out that it was one of the roommates. There was only three of my sims in the dorm and there were five other sims there and one of them had the socially awkward trait. So he must have got these two badges for me. They're both bronze. One of them was tastes like foot. Have a sim with the socially awkward trait put their foot in their mouth five times. And the second badge was that was it. Have a sim with the socially awkward trait miss the opportune moment. It's two or three times now I have counted the number of university life badges that I haven't yet achieved. You can see the ones that I have achieved. There's the three that we've just spoken about plus a few others that I have managed to get gradually over the years since university life was released. Some of the badges that are still to be achieved are going to take a long time to get because there are badges there where Sims need to get to the top of careers or skills or being able to get to the top of areas of influence such as nerds, rebels and jocks because there are badges that require a Sim to be in the game developer career, the art appraiser career or the sports agent career. The only way to get into any of those careers is by an offer that you receive after getting to the top of one of those areas of influence. At this point there are still 44 badges to achieve. We did didn't achieve any last episode and I seriously don't think we'll get any this episode but we might. We will be making progress towards badges though during this episode. Now Carolyn and her household have arrived in the university life world. The seven of them, the space in the dorm for one more and Tiffany Angels is the lucky sim who has been allocated to share the dorm with Carolyn and the rest of her household. Here they are arriving at their dorm. They're going to be staying at Mallon Hall again. This is where Katie and Carolyn and Wilma stayed during their first two week stint at university. And the whole household is there and they're going to be there for two weeks. I've managed to allocate bedrooms. I've had to change a couple of beds around and I'm going to fix up the kitchen, give them a proper fridge, stove and a few other bits and pieces. But before that happens, I sent them off to the administration building to apply for extra funding. They got 2,500 simoleons each. The next place they visited was the student union building. There were lots of students hanging around there, including the university mascot. Carolyn spotted the mascot doing a dance and she suddenly remembered last time she was at uni, she did mascot training and she needs to develop her mascot skills further. She quickly changed into her mascot outfit. She picked the gnome outfit, found the likely sim to have a quick chat too. This is one of the classrooms that they go into when they have classes on Tuesdays. Carolyn did a little exercise with her mascot dance, but she knows that dance really well. There's another dance she ought to be practicing now to advance in her mascot skill. Katie's arrived. There's James at the back as well. Now this is the other dance she needs to learn. This is the walking man. And then she's also got to practice her backflips. Enid seems to argue with a lot of sims. There's that backflip. Oh, there is all the goodies arrived. I came in here looking for them, but the tables weren't there. I must have got here too soon after they arrived at University World. There's all the free goodies, plus all the information on classes that they need to know about their classes. 
There's two lots of information. One was about being at uni generally and the other was specific information about each Sims class. And I read them all, well I read one for each different type of class that the various Sims are attending, just in case there was something useful in there and there was. Armed with new information and lots of freebies, they headed upstairs to explore the facilities in the students' union building. There was ping pong, foosball tables, arcade games, all sorts of fun things for them to do. James played with an arcade game for a while before he got his skeleton out of his pocket and decided to do some study to prepare for tomorrow's classes. Back at home, Wilma is working on her business planner for some reason. I don't know why she's even got a business planner, because she's not doing a business degree. Gary's met somebody interesting. Hearts. They've got the bonfire going, I see. That was an autonomous action. Looks like Gary's going to stoke the fire. He's going to poke the fire anyway. I've got to learn more about these bonfires. Gary certainly took his time with the poking into that fire. It looks like his friend is having a chat with herself. She seems quite happy though. Wilma, still into that business planner. Looks like Katie's using hers on the other side of the yard as well. And they're both putting it away at the same time. Maybe it's time for dinner. I've got Enid inside cooking. She's doing an arts degree, I think, to start with. So cooking helps her with that. And I've given them a good fridge now. So she can do a whole lot of cooking and get her cooking skill up. And stack it in the fridge so that when they're rushing off to uni, to classes early in the morning or after sleeping in, they can just snatch a plate full of food out of the fridge and have leftovers in the mornings. I have to see if we can get some of them to come to eat the meal while it's still fresh. I've got a mod in which will allow them to call the rest of the household to the meal and it puts the plates out on the table and they all come and eat, or at least some do. So this, I've given them a new dishwasher, fridge and stove. Going to the administration building and getting 2,500 simoleons each paid to them was very useful for that. Haven't sent them back there yet. They should be able to get money every day if you can just organise them to go get it. So Enid's cooking. Remember, she's starting out from no skills at all. So the more cooking she does, the more she's cooking skills she gets. James is happy with the food processor I bought for them as well. I've got the Elva vintage fridge and stove and dishwasher as well, I think. I recolored them so they were all just white. When that fridge comes out of the store, it's white and pale blue. Now it looks like she's going to go and call everybody to the meal. All the plates got placed and then they'll come and eat. That's their roommate, Katie and Wilma. They've put their business planners away, come inside for something to eat. James is practicing his kicky ball skills. I forget why I put that big watch in the kitchen. It's a clock and I know I had a special purpose for choosing that one. It might have been it's got a lot of environment points but I'm not sure. If Carolyn's home and she's still wearing her mascot outfit, the gnome version of it. I thought she was going to get something to eat, but she just wants to enjoy the fire alarm. After eating, Wilma went outside to paint. I put that easel there during their previous visit to uni, and there was a partly completed painting on it, and nobody in the household that I could control had started it. I got them to scrap the painting so that they could use the easel. I'm not sure who started it. It could have been a previous housemate, but it also could have been some visiting sim, because they get lots of visitors sometimes at, when they're at the university world. And you never know what the visitors are going to get up to while they're there. While Wilma painted, other household members were out and about. And Wilma at home, her painting is nearing completion by the look of it. She's doing an arts degree, so painting will help her get her degree. She's working towards her degree. Here's Marie and Gary. They're off to class. There's seven Sims in this household, and they have various classes at various times of the day. Looks like Carolyn's heading to class now. Carolyn must be almost finished her degree. I expect Carolyn, Wilma and Katie to graduate at the end of this two week stay at university. But we've got others there in the household, four other ones, who they won't graduate. So I'm hoping that doesn't cause me problems, that I've got some graduating and some not graduating. We'll find out what happens. If it is an issue, I'll have to go back to a the day before they left 
for uni and just send the three that are due to graduate. But we won't know the answer to that until the end of the next episode. This episode will cover all of their first week at uni and the next episode will cover all of their second week at uni. I've got them all working so hard at their studies that there's nothing much happening really to show you other than they're at university and they're in class. Gary's doing a communication degree, so we'll see him working with the radio sometimes. Carolyn keeps playing autonomously with the with the radio station. I'm not sure if she's going to get the badge for interviewing 15 Sims or if it will be Gary. It seems Gary seems to be the logical one to do it since he's doing the communications degree. We'll just see who gets there first because she's putting in every effort all by herself without any input from me. Wilma and Enid outside relieving a bit of stress. Wilma's got good skills with the frisbee, but Enid's still a beginner. She hasn't done much with it yet, but she'll get there. She'll keep working on it till she does. Everyone's doing something different after classes end for the day. These two are having something to eat. And upstairs in her room, Marie is dancing to her music. She is going to become a rock star. We're going to have to see her through that career. She's only level one at this point, but she is in the music career, working her way up to the stage of becoming a rock star. Carolyn's put the radio station away, but now she's there playing kicky ball by herself, practicing, obviously. Seems to be quite an active place there late at night. There's Sims all over the place. But she needs her sleep because she's got classes tomorrow, so I think I'll just send her home. It looks like I've got to send Wilma home too. Enid's arrived home and being a typical sim, she's just plonked herself down in front of the front door to draw in her sketchbook. At least she hasn't totally blocked the door and she is making progress towards her degree while she's sketching because she is doing an arts degree this time. Gary's headed upstairs to unwind the pool table. He likes to play pool. It's funny, funny that he's there wearing his backpack in the middle of the night, just taking it off each time he takes a shot finally managed to convince him to go to bed. And that's James's bed there, the other empty one. He'll be along soon. This room originally had one bed in it. There was a Murphy bed, a double bed. And these two weren't even friends at that time, so I thought there's no point trying to get them to share a bed, but they will share a bedroom quite happily. Next day, here is Gary at class. He's in the communications degree, and this is his class for the Tuesday. James is taking notes in the classroom in the student union building. He's studying for a degree in science and medicine. Here he is sitting in class taking notes. There doesn't seem to be a lecturer. The household members who are not in class at the moment are all at home either studying or reading the books that I found appearing in their inventories. They seem to pop in there every so often during the week. Well, it's getting late and it's raining and hailing and Gary is still playing with his radio station. I think I'd better send him home. I'm sure the class is finished long ago. Wilma rushes off to class. It's time for her arts class. That's Enid has gone as well. Carolyn obviously doesn't have a class at the moment. She's still reading. Either that or she's going to be very late for class. There's Wilma. She's still running. She's running through the rain and the hail. She got there early. There's lots of others running a lot later than she was. So that in the student union building in the classroom, Wilma thinks she might have a little snooze to start off the class. Marie and Enid are there together. So Enid's having a snooze as well. Marie's going to at least try to take some notes to start with. Again, they don't seem to have a lecture either. This is the arts class. His class finished. James has stayed behind in the student union building. He's sitting out in the foyer studying while Katie is studying her books at home in their sitting room. Looks like Carolyn is still sitting at the table in the dining room reading as well. And Gary's found himself a comfortable seat and he's happily sitting in the rain and hail to read his book. Finally, it's time for the pair doing the business degree to turn up for class. That would be Carolyn and Katie. There's Carolyn. The friendly university mascot's there doing his mascot dance. Carolyn's not in her mascot uniform today, and I don't think she's going to get into it. She's just too busy to study. She's got to study now, got exams to pass. She doesn't have to do much more to get through her degree. She can't afford to fail. I see James is still there reading his book. 
It's just amazing that all that ruckus in the foyer didn't disturb him because he is sitting in the foyer just a little bit further away from where the crowd was. And here's the classroom and there's Carolyn standing having a chat to somebody and there's pink hearts. There's a lot of sleeping going on. That's Katie having a snooze. I didn't see a lecturer again. They must be getting some information from somewhere. They'll have exams to pass on Friday. After class, they went home and sat down and did some more study. Everybody but James, that is. James is still at the Student Union building. This time he's using the podium to practice giving a lecture. Until hunger strikes and he decides to rush off home to eat some of those delicious leftovers that Enid has been making. You know that old saying, another day, another dollar? Well, next day after class, I managed to get them to go and apply for extra funds again. And some of them did really well, with over 5,000 simoleons. And others still were around the 2,000 mark. There's a streaker, just went past. Nearly missed them completely. Everyone seems to be relaxing just between classes, but they're going to be back in class again shortly. No class? Okay, well then, let's all just sit and study for a while. Another day and another application for extra funds. Some of them were in the 2000s and some were up higher. James is having a go at building his cooking skill today. He must be very hungry. Thursday has arrived and this is the day for their special classes where they get to use their special objects. And there's James working in his science and medicine class with his skeleton doing anatomy. And there's a whole lot of other students there with skeletons as well. There seems to be one spare student who hasn't connected yet with her skeleton. It looks like Thursday's class for the communications students is inside the lecture room in the student union building. And Gary's decided to have a sleep instead of listening to his class. At one point he almost woke up, but then he decided that he really needed to sleep. And that's what he did for the rest of the class. Until right at the end of the class, he suddenly got a burst of energy and decided he'd better show some interest. After all, the lecturer only remembers what you did at the end of the class, don't they? At least that's what Gary's hoping. Meanwhile, the arts students are having their class outdoors. They've just got to sit and sketch for the afternoon. That's Enid and Marie doing their sketching. And Wilma is a little way away from them in another part of the garden, just at the other end of the pool. See, there's the other two girls at the front there. They're working hard with maximum concentration, peering at the subjects that they're trying to draw and trying to transfer what they see to their sketchbooks. Or at least that's the theory. When you look at what they're actually sketching, it makes you wonder... What are they bothering to be outside for other than to enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine? I'm hoping all three of them pass their final exams. Wilma won't have to come back. This is her final two weeks at uni, but Edith and Marie will need to come back again before they get their graduation. While I was watching Wilma do some sketching, I caught sight of some random sim who was obviously in the acrobat career. And she was putting on quite a show. There she is, look, off in the distance. And I thought, she needs to be watched. Don't know who she is. We did see her earlier, I think. Uh-oh, she just dropped something. She's pretty good. Lots of jumping around. And oh, she's on fire. Her hair's on fire. She put it out. See her glass bottles out, she, the jars out. She is doing performing for tips. Bit of contortions going on there now. The thing I really want to show you, she does a little bit further on. And it is a badge that one of my sims got for me. And I would have had absolutely no clue how to get it. But it happened when an acrobat is performing for tips. That's it. I think she is get, getting blown away while trying to walk against the wind. Now that's a Showtime badge and it's one I got a few years ago. It's not part of what of the badges achieved in this video. I left her there doing her performance for tips to go home and find Carolyn exercising. As a result, she had to rush off to class while she's all smelly. But this is the Thursday class for the business students. They've got to work with their business planners for the afternoon. There are Katie and Carolyn doing their business planning. So they'll just keep on doing that for the rest of the afternoon. 
until the end of their class. Katie's studying business because it'll help her in the criminal career and Carolyn's doing business just because she thought she should go get a degree in something. Back at home it's the night before the exams on Friday and most of them are studying but obviously Enid feels quite confident. She's working on her kicky ball skills. I sent Enid into the kitchen to do some cooking. At least she'll be being a bit helpful there and making progress in her degree because cooking is good if you are doing an arts degree. It's one of the activities that helps you with your degree. Anyway, while she was there working hard in her cooking, I heard sounds outside and that was when I realised it's the night of the full moon and the zombies were about and there were zombies in their yard and somebody almost got attacked. That's the kitchen window just near the dishwasher and that's a zombie. And it's in their backyard. Yes, well the zombies are out and Enid finished her cooking and she thought it was just the right time to go out to the backyard and stare at the fire and stand right next to the zombie that was standing there warming his hands over the fire until she was joined by Carolyn. Why don't we all come out and play with the zombies? So Carolyn's telling her off. And I don't think it's about playing with zombies. And Marie's there as well. See, that's the zombie. Being very quiet little zombie right at this very moment. That's Katie. Now, Carolyn and the zombie have got pink hearts for each other. James has turned up. Think that chap's a paparazzi. He doesn't belong with the household anyway. Yes, he's taking photos. He's a paparazzi. Later on, I noticed the zombie and the paparazzi were playing ping pong together. It's a bit in your face there, James, with the camera but he's got a flash right in the face. Paparazzi's whipped his notepad out he's taking notes. Maybe Marie will get some points for her famousness. She needs to become famous. She wants to be a rock star. For the next few hours the various household members just milled around the bonfire and played with the zombie. I don't know if they were teasing the zombie or what, but some of them came very close to being attacked and zombified, although that zombie was quite a pleasantly well-behaved zombie. He just growled and walked around a bit. He did attempt to attack James at one point, I think, or it might have been Gary, but nothing came of it. The zombie got a bit active and he interacted with a few of the sims and eventually, after a quite a while, he suddenly became human again and ran off home in a hurry, very tired and needing a sleep. So I'm assuming he got home safely and had a sleep. Eventually James's hunger woke him from his nap on the seat at the back and he came into the kitchen to get some leftovers. Meanwhile, our friendly zombie and the paparazzi decided to enjoy a game of table tennis. Wild horses were about as well, and one just wandered past their fence. And another zombie's turned up, female one this time. She wants to play table tennis, but there's nobody around to play with. And then suddenly, she transforms back into her human form and runs off. I suppose she's wondering what she was doing there. She's probably got a big gap in her memory. I wonder if Sims remember what happens when they're zombies. Next morning, it's Saturday, and there's no classes, so there's Katie for some reason playing with the business planner, and in the background, Wilma and Carolyn are having a game with the frisbee. The rest of the Sims are around about taking it easy, recovering from the results of the partying after their exams the previous day. Fortunately, they all seem to have passed. That morning, they got an unexpected visit from Tiberius Willard. He's the Sim who got them the two badges last time they went to uni. He has a socially awkward trait. He just dropped in unexpectedly to pay them a little visit. None of them have a collection helper yet. Carolyn is working on it. She's got about 23,000 lifetime happiness points saved up, but she needs 40,000 to get the collection helper. And James got an opportunity to find some metal and deliver it. So I got all excited about having the opportunity to find a bit of metal. Maybe they'll make some more money out of selling it or get some skill from smelting it. They've got the machine at home. They can smelt their own metals. So I sent him off collecting as much metal as he could find. And of course, the game kept reminding me that he could deliver the metal, but I wouldn't let him deliver it. I wanted him to collect more and more and more. And of course, eventually, the opportunity ran out of time. And if he had delivered the metal, he would have got extra credit for his course, but he didn't get the extra credit. It was because I was too excited about having a look around the university world. And it wasn't just a totally random look. We had James and a few of the others running around 
picking up the metals that we could see as a result of him having that opportunity. There's things flying around there but you can't catch them. They're not actual insects. Must be a fog emitter. Saturday night now, the last of their first week of two weeks at university. Carolyn has been invited to a party so she went and she really wanted to do a keg stand and she stood there for hours waiting for her hostess to come and help her do the keg stand but all her hostess wanted to do was play kicky ball ignoring Carolyn completely so eventually since there was no other guests and no one else that help her do her keg stand Carolyn went home she was wearing her beautiful red formal outfit but she noticed that when she got home she noticed that the shower needed cleaning so she started cleaning it autonomously until I told her to upgrade the shower to self-cleaning and she did that very obediently wearing her beautiful long red dress amazing what sims will do when they're beautiful clothes and nothing ever gets ruined or dirty or need cleaning although you could buy them a washing machine I suppose if you wanted to be doing laundry day and night anyway that's the end of the video I do hope you've enjoyed it next video will be their second week of this two week stint at university and I'm really hoping Carolyn Katie and Wilma will graduate from their degrees I probably won't have them coming back to uni again or at least not very often but the rest of them have got another have got more visits to uni and some of the rest of them have got lots of visits coming up to uni because they've got to get lots of more degrees so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode and don't forget to like it if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos in this series or other series that I'm doing bye bye for now and happy simming